Hi guys, this is just selection and design. Fabrics treated with pharyngeal resistance should be rolled on a bowl rather than folded with a center crease for they do not give up the crease willingly. Crisp fabrics are the greatest wrinklers. Tafita polished cotton uh, or gandhi must be pressed after chewing. Their non-wrinkling man-made counterparts may serve the purpose better unless they are so wiry that they form bulgy figure enlarging silhouettes. Um, wool and silk possess natural wrinkle recovery, although those fabrics must to some extent. Wrinkles hang out well, particularly in moist air. Um, crease retention after washing is another dramatic modern development which has made possible permanent pleats will, which survive laundering. Producing crease retention is strictly a factory controlled process in the present. Although permanently pleated fabrics are available by yard um, for home sewing, dimensional stability of a fabric means that the yarn will not change position and that the fabric therefore will retain its shape and will not stretch, shrink, or sag. Um, stability is essential, as anyone who has worn a knit dress that bagged, a crepe that sagged, or um, a fabric that shrank can testify. Um, to behave satisfactorily, all fabrics must have reasonable stability. But um, flexibility and drapeability are fully as important to the behavior of a fabric. Suits tailored to fabrics so stable that they feel boardy must be entirely shaped by cut and seaming rather than by shaping to the body with seam pressing. Professional suit makers who are aware of the problem revise their patterns for dimensional stable uh, fabrics to reduce or eliminate altogether the usual um, ease. The home dressmakers will discover that a garment with absolute stability made from a standard commercial pattern tends to bulge away from the body. She will also discover that puckers of ease refuse to shrink out at the top of sleeves and over the bust. Um, the natural resiliency and firmness of good quality Worsted united with its molding quality make it a favorable um, favor for suit makers. Um, favorite. Um, the yarns are flexible, collars and labels uh, roll softly, um, and uh, sleeves conform to shoulders without full visible fullness. Raw silk, linen, suiting and blends of silk and wool all have enough stability to prevent sagging and enough flexibility to mold well. So silk, linen, and silk and wool blends. Um, designers describe them as sympathetic and friendly. On the other hand, vast improvements have been wrought by stabilizing rayon crepe, the cotton knits, voila, um, and um, other fabrics that sagged, stretched, or shank, shrank out of shape. The hands of these fabrics is now described as drier and more buoyant. Before buying dimensionally stable fabric, examine the torn end to make sure that it is straight, for its position has been set with heat. No amount of tugging or stretching in that accustomed manner will straight, straighten a heat set fabric in which the warp and filling treads are out of um out of square permanent christmas crispness tafita slipper satin organdian tissue shantung are a few of the many fabrics requiring sizing to uh, see, sizing to increase their crispness so tafita satin organdian shantung 
sizing should always be permanent, never soluble in water or cleaning fluid. An inexp inexpensive taffeta that appears paper crisp when new is costly, but it loses crispness and consumes and becomes limp and sleazy after the first pressing. And a cotton that must be starched every time it is washed is such a nuisance that in all probability it will be worn little. Steam press samples of stiff fabrics before buying them perm if permanent Christmas is not guaranteed. Personal standards determine texture choices. Do not expect the pos impossible of any fabric. Although the ideal fabric um, unites beauty of texture with ease of handling and care, these qualities are not necessarily compatible. Um, the beauty of texture. Each person should buy accordingly to specifications that mean the most to her. The same person may have different standards for different kinds of clothes. And uh, rating ease of care most for casual clothes and appearance. Um, Luxurious feel comfort uh, for clothes that form backbone of the wardrobe, the suits and top coats. Um, young mothers, women with jobs, outside home, travelers, young, college girls of necessity rate ease of care high and are likely to reject fabrics that require careful hand laundering, time consuming pressing, or frequent and expensive dry cleaning, no matter how lovely the textures may be. But um, older women whose children are grown and women who can afford to indulge a taste for fine fabrics may still value luxurious hand above such allures as drip dry or crease retention. Versatility of texture. Although each social group still has distinctive clothing, requirements, lines, marking, clothes for specific occasions are much less sharply drawn today than a generation ago. The trend toward country and suburban living resulting in a more casual way of life for everyone has increased the demand for versatility for multi-purpose clothes and um, appropriate for male or meeting la labels frequently state that dresses are suitable for town or country, urban or suburban, where um, day or night or four seasons, costume suits, composed of sheath dresses and matching jackets or coats as well as dressmaker suits that can be dressed up or down with accessories are um, correct for anything between active sports and formal balls particularly if those textures are versatile soft wool or wool like textures and silk or silk like soothings that remain fresh after a train or car trip to town a day of shopping, a dinner and theater in the evening fulfill this requirement. And here shown is a costume suit of wool or rough silk, which is suitable for many occasions. Textures that bridge the seasons also greatly extend the service of a garment. Um, dark winter c cottons now are taken for granted. Lightweight silk suits, once reserved for spring and summer, are often more comfortable than bulky woolens in overheated buildings and cars. Um, in, um, so lightweight clothing, even um, in cold weather. So, winter coats with removable linings also span the seasons and serve purposes of two coats. Uh, felt and wet, uh, velvet hats that survive travel without crushing harmonize with either winter or summer costumes. Unity of texture and um, design. Quality often is interpreted uh, erroneously to mean cost. The best fabric for design is one which interprets a design most naturally with the least artificial support. Best is not necessarily most expensive. Experience in cutting and making clothes trains the eye to judge 
of fabric in relation to the silhouette it will produce most naturally. Um, when a fabric is forced into artificial lines, the designer must alter its nature to achieve the desired shape, a very difficult task. Crisp fabrics interpret bouffant shapes most naturally. Stiff taffeta, slipper satin, or sized pique, as well as the crisp shears, nylon net, tulle, and organza produce flared silhouettes effortlessly. But flared skirts of soft rayon taffeta, fail, or linen sag, tireless, tardly unless supported by crinolines or lined through with firm fabric. The fashion for lining soft fabrics to make them assume unnatural shapes has complicated both construction and care, since linings must wash or dry clean exactly like the surface fabric. If they shrink or stretch more or less than the surface fabric, the seams pucker and the dry cleaner in all likelihood will be blamed unjustly. Although crinoline underskirts boo out limp fabrics, they may create disunity by forming lines of their own that fall quite differently from those of the dress. To fall as one, separate underskirts must duplicate skirt, line, skirt lines exactly. And here shown is um, a sheer tool and paper taffeta form decisive silhouettes without stiff underskirts. Um, and then, there it goes, and it says a limp fabric booed out by a crinoline and may create disunity because each layer hangs differently. Notice that the sash droops, um, okay, and Firm fabrics with enough body and ex uh, flexibility to mold well interpret closely fitted shapes most naturally. Stiff, thin, or sleazy fabrics made into close fitting sheets are predestined to failure for stiff fabrics break into sharp horizontal creases and thin or stretchy fabrics must be lined throughout to give them weight and prevent bagginess. Um, since body linings give less than stretchy fabrics, um, the seams pucker or the lining eventually splits. Um, okay, soft floating fabrics such as chiffon or roller um, interpret full flowing lines. Um, with, which depend on the no motion of the um, lithe slender body for their beauty. Um, stiffening chiffon with underskirts contradicts its poetry of motion. And for 